We're very fortunate in West Wylong that so many of the locations and villages have a name that can actually be traced back to its Wiradjuri place name. So you've got um, places like Talimba, for example, which comes from the Wiradjuri word Dalimban, which is hard stone axe. This artwork demonstrates the place of the stones where people would go to, to work the stones to create fine pieces of Wiradjuri tool making. With a stone axe, it's flaked into shape and then it's worked on a grinding platform. They can be hafted stone axes, so you can see that this one has a handle put on it through that groove. They can be just for your hand. And people around this area didn't just use common basalts, but they also used stone, which had an attractive appeal. Things like this lighter groove indicate that it's for aesthetic purposes, because that's actually a flaw in the stone. It won't be as strong as one of these pieces of stone. This sort of stone is found around places like Tulimba, where Aboriginal people would have taken that rock. Burbaroi Hills comes from the Wiradjuri word Burbara. That means Aboriginal women drumming. And women would beat on their cloaks to inform men that that area was sort of off limits. So it was when they were doing ceremony where men's business and women's business was kept separate. So the possum skins make quite a resonant sound. And if you have a number of people all beating on their cloaks, that will provide sufficient deterrent for men from going to that area. Town Wailong, its name comes from the word Wailong, which is Wiradjuri for hard shelled nut. The nut that it refers to is actually the Kwandong. Now, that seed was what Wiradjuri would use to make flour. It's quite prolific, there's a lot of uh, seeds on it, and uh, the seeds underneath can remain viable for up to two years, and they're quite easy to collect. If you place the Kwandong seed in the cobble, you can see that it is just the right depth to crack the shell of the nut without crushing the seed inside. Often on the reverse side, you'll get the grinding surface where the flour would be ground from the seed of the nut. So we've had people in this area making flour from Kwandong seeds for approximately 6,000 years. which is Wiradjuri Mali Bao. And the area around Ungari was predominantly Mali country. There's still areas nearby where Mali fowl nest. And the artwork shows the feathers of the Mali fowl, the places where people would meet and collect the eggs. It would have been an area that was special to people who had an obligation to that particular animal species. 